Welcome to Chinese Film Classics. My name is Christopher Ray, and I teach Chinese language, literature, and cinema at the University of British Columbia. In this course, we're going to be watching some of the best films made in China up to the 1940s, and we'll be discussing their significance as art, history, and culture. At the core of Chinese film classics are questions about art. What makes a film a classic? What is a classic, and who gets to decide? Part of this course is about how to judge a film using criteria such as style, storytelling, technical accomplishment, and historical influence. As such, we'll be delving into the craft of filmmaking, covering elements such as camera work, sets and props, editing, sound design, narrative structure, and performance. We'll also discuss the relationship between cinema and history. We'll look at how Chinese filmmakers made history, how they responded to wars, revolutions, and social change, and how they participated in global trends. We'll get to know various artists of the cinema. Screen goddess Ran Lin Yu, heartthrob Jin Yan, screenwriter Eileen Chang, and pioneering filmmakers like Zheng Zhengqiu, Cai Chusheng, and the poet-director Fei Mu. Throughout this course, we'll talk about film as culture. Chinese filmmakers had their own ideas about the aesthetics of cinema. Quite a few of them believed that Chinese films shouldn't just follow foreign models, but should have a distinctive look and feel. We'll explore how these filmmakers put their artistic visions into practice, and note a few of their influences on later generations. This course is designed to be introductory and accessible, while also sharing some new original research. No matter what your background is, I hope that you'll emerge from this course with fresh ideas about how to analyze films and with a better appreciation for some of the best ones made in China during the early 20th century. If you're ready to get started now, check out the next video in which I share five tips for making the most out of this course, or just jump straight into watching your first Chinese film classic.